Carl, thanks for being here. Good to be with you. We've read a lot in the international press recently about Japan and talk about starting a currency war. Are we really seeing the beginning of a currency war here? I would attribute the creation of all of the sensationalism around a currency war to the financial media's need to keep the edge on investors. In reality, what has happened is that Japan, after two decades of subpar economic performance, is finally realizing that they need to be much more aggressive in stimulating their own economy in a manner that we have done here in the United States, uh, ironically, after learning from the Japanese lesson. But, Doug, the byproduct of a country seeking to ease its credit and promote its own economy is sometimes a weakening of their currency, which helps to make their exports more competitive. So are the actions of Japan likely to set off a chain reaction? Certainly the Japanese action has created a lot of criticism from other world capitals in countries that were all also counting on trying to improve their economic fortunes through export. When your currency is worth less, your goods cost less to those buying them overseas. And so Japan is getting a little bit of an advantage in this marketplace for global goods. However, the fact is, is that they've started from the premise of trying to help their own economy and improving Japanese consumption in theory would help all world economies. So if there is a currency realignment, it's really not part of a stated strategy and I wouldn't expect that other countries are going to try and follow suit. Who are the potential winners and losers in this uh, scenario? Well, among the prospective losers are developing countries who have been trying to export their way to a higher level of prosperity. The challenge is, is that they've been able to make inroads because their currencies have been relatively inexpensive, making their products more affordable to foreigners. The Japanese action will tend to realign that equation, especially for emerging countries in Asia, like South Korea. That competitiveness may change a little bit and dampen their ability to grow. The winners, hopefully, in the long run, will both be the Japanese, but then also globally, the world economy, Japan still being the world's third largest market. If they're able to get back to healthier growth, we should have better balance in the world economic scene. Do the actions that Japan has been taking differ that much from other countries, whether it's China or the United States or elsewhere? Japan is certainly not alone in undertaking a quantitative easing program to try and stimulate its economy. We have a very large one underway, obviously, here in the United States, and there was one that was just concluded last fall in the United Kingdom. And you only have to look across the Straits of Japan to China to see a country that is very active in managing its currency. So the Japanese actions are not altogether unusual, and so I think some of the criticism that's been leveled at Japan for undertaking them may be a little unfair. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you for listening. For more insights from our economic research team, visit northerntrust.com backslash view.